Hello my sexy muffins and welcome back to another video. In this video it is finally part four I think. Let me check one sec. Yes part four which is it's going to be well we're gonna skip the naughty stuff and you're gonna wake up being yours and abused. So anyways I hope that you enjoy and I hope that you uh, suggest what should happen next in the mini series of female D class listener with Yandere Scarlet King. That is who it is. And disclaimer Yandere uh, Scarlet King is not Yandere canon. And it, this is just for fun and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters and fictional Yandere's and SCPs is fine as long as you separate fiction from reality and do not be gross about it. And remember, Scarlet King is just a proposal from one of the SCP-001. And yes, that is that. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this and let's do this. So, it is you were used by the Scarlet King, the man who trapped you into the Foundation. He ravaged you during the night and you woke up in the hospital bed bruised bitten and bite marked around your body and obviously a sore between the legs you looked her at and see that you are in the foundation thank god you were not with that man you do not think you can handle being with him after what he did you of course consented to save yourself from being hurt any further but it felt wrong of course you enjoyed it, but that did not mean anything. You sigh and get and sit up, wince in when you do, add, from adding pressure on your lower parts. As you sit there, the doctor came in. It, he was wearing a medallion with a red jewel in the middle and such, and looked at you. He had your file in hand. You sigh and just look ahead. So what did the Scarlet King do to other than you then frick you senseless? He asks. You do not say anything and he sighs. Look, I know this is not ideal. You're f frickin' stuck here. You are framed for being here and you're not allowed to leave now because the Scarlet King decided to make you his bride. Yeah, we figured out about the mark and... And how you are now going to be the bride to bring him to this world. Honestly, we have been debating if we should euthanize you or uh, lock you away where no one can ever see you. And we are worried that you might be having a little a spawn of Eldritch God fetus inside of you. So we gave you plan B. Hopefully that will be enough to knock out godly sperm. You glared at him, also hoping that it did the job because you did not want to have whatever child would come out of that situation. Anyways, he says, I'm Jack Bright. Nice to meet you. He says and looks you over. Well, looks like you're going to be stuck here for some time, but I'm in charge of you. And you're still going to be a D-class, but you're going to be a permanent D-class. Very rare position, actually. He jokes, trying to lighten the mood. You don't have to worry about being killed because the S the the D classes get killed every at the end of every month, unless they die before that. So we won't put into anything into anything life risking at this time, but you're still gonna have to basically clean up and uh, do a lot of menial tasks. He explains to you. You sigh and felt the mark burn as you looked away, looked at him for a bit too long. It appears the mark was able to gauge if you were just paying attention to someone else other than the Scarlet King too long. When you looked away, the burn-in went away. You didn't want to tell him because you didn't want to give the Foundation any more information than they already had. You get up and go follow Jack as he, push it, as he gets you in a wheelchair and then pushes you down. First, we have to get you cleaned up, and then we have to give you different quarters so we don't accidentally gas you, he says casually. You look at him. Gas? Was that really what that... You didn't even want to think about it. You just stopped and looked ahead. 
not paying attention to the doctors on either side of you or such. You were brought to your new room, which was honestly better than the room you had before, and he shows you around, which was just a small, like, studio apartment type thing without any of the utilities, basically. Just a bed, a bookshelf with some books, and which all were books on just meaningless topics. Sorry, we didn't know what to get you, so oh well since you're gonna be stuck here we thought we might as well make it a little bit comfy i mean you're still a criminal kind of but we are not going to make you live in squalor since you're gonna be here for life and you were technically framed as well you wanted to scream that you were framed and that you didn't do anything wrong and you shouldn't be here but you know it would be useless as you get settled into your new room and after Jack left, you lay down in bed. You did not want to go to sleep, though. All you could continue thinking about is what that man did to you and how you felt so dirty. You go and take a shower, but in the mirror, you could see him. You could see him watching you. Was he in some type of mirror realm or what? Or was it just a trick in your mind? Because when you looked away and looked back, he was not there. You felt as if he was watching you, though, at all times, and it drove you crazy. Well, felt like you were going crazy, at least. You didn't know what to do or how to handle this stuff. This was nothing you wanted to deal with in general. You just wanted to live a normal, simple life. And now that was ripped away from you, and you were having to do menial tasks. You finish your shower, brush your hair, and then go just in time for your meal to be delivered. The food didn't look at any appeti more appetizing than it did this morning. Well, apparently they got you a better room, but they couldn't get you better food. You sigh and eat. You at least need to eat something to keep up your strength, especially if you're going to pass out again in bed in tonight and figure out that you're going to be seeing Scarlet King again. You eat your food and then decide to read it a bit. The book was pretty random, so you didn't really get into it, and so your eyes drifted asleep, and you heard the laughter of your husband as you wake up. You stop. Did you just call him your husband? You wake up to see his chest facing you and your body pressed into his. About time you came back, he said. I hope I was not too rough on you, he says, stroking your hair, and you pull away disgusted with him. This had to stop. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed this. If you would like to see more SCP stuff, I will have the playlist for The Chosen Bride at the end. And if there's something you would like to see specifically happen with The Chosen Bride, comment it below and I will do my best to do it. And I hope that you all enjoyed. And stay sexy, all my sexy muffins. Bye-bye! Oh, and remember, do not request... Because right now I'm just trying to get through the requests. Honestly, this is like my eighth video I recorded today. So I'm trying to get them all requested and then get them edited so I can get them out. So once January comes around, I can at least tackle the ones I have saved for 2023. Then I can open requests again. So do not request. Thank you. And if you would like to see more, there will be a playlist of SCPs and Joe's and Bride at the end. So you can do that. And I hope you all enjoyed. And stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye and happy holidays.